The first Abdicom conference. Seated around the table, from left, Admirals Layton, Helfrick, and Hart, General Terrace Porton, Colonel Kengan, and Generals Wavell, Brett, and Brerett in Abdicom area the American British Dutch Australian Command, or Abdicom. Was a short-lived, supreme command for all Allied forces in Southeast Asia in early 1942, during the Pacific War and World War II. The command consists of the forces of Australia, the Netherlands, United Kingdom and the United States. The main objective of the command, led by General Sir Archibald Wavell, was to maintain control of the Malay Barrier, or East Indies. Barrier, a notional line running down the Malayan Peninsula, through Singapore and the southernmost islands of Dutch East Indies. Abdicom was also known in British military circles as the Southwest Pacific Command, although it should not be confused with the later Southwest Pacific Area Command. Although Abdicom was only in existence for a few weeks and presided over one defeat after another, it did provide some useful lessons for combined Allied commands later in the war. Efforts to organize the Abdicom Command began soon after war between the Allies and Japan commenced, on December 7, 1941. It was finalized at the Arcadia Conference in Washington. On December 29, Winston Churchill said that it had been agreed Wavell would be Supreme Commander. Wavell then held the position of British Commander-in-Chief, India. Churchill added, It is intended that General Wavell should have a staff in the South Pacific accessible as Foch's high-control staff was to the great staffs of the British and French armies in France, during World War I. He would receive his orders from an appropriate joint body who will be responsible to me as the Minister of Defense and to the President of the United States who is also Commander-in-Chief of all United States forces. Following the declaration by the four nations on January 1, 1942, the Allied governments formally appointed Wavell. The formation of Abdicom meant that Wavell had control of a huge, but thinly spread force, covering an area from Burma in the west, to Dutch New Guinea and the Philippines in the east. Other areas, including India and Hawaii, remained officially under separate commands, and in practice General Douglas MacArthur was in complete control of Allied forces in the Philippines. At Wavell's insistence, the western half of northern Australia was added to the Abda area. The rest of Australia was under Australian control, as were its territories of Papua and New Guinea. Abda was charged with holding the Malay barrier for as long as possible in order to retain Allied control of the Indian Ocean and the Western Sea approaches to Australia. This was a nearly hopeless task, given the Japanese supremacy and naval forces in the Western Pacific. The task was further complicated by the addition of Burma to the command, the difficulties of coordinating action between forces of four nationalities that used different equipment and had not trained together, and the different priorities of the national governments. British leaders were primarily interested in retaining control of Singapore, the military capacity of the Dutch East Indies had suffered as a result of the defeat of the Netherlands. In 1940, and the Dutch administration was focused on defending the island of Java, the Australian government was heavily committed to the war in North Africa and Europe, and had few readily accessible military resources, and the United States was preoccupied with the Philippines, which at the time was a U.S. Commonwealth territory. Wavell arrived in Singapore, where the British Far East Command was based, on January 7, 1942. Abdicom absorbed this British command in its entirety. On 18th of January, Wavell moved his headquarters to Lembong near Bandoing on Java. On 1st of February the Air Force portion of Abda moved its headquarters from Lembong to Bandoing when it became clear that the former place lacked sufficient accommodation. This made cooperation between air and naval forces difficult. The first notable success for forces under Abdicom was the U.S. Navy's attack at Balipapan, Borneo on January 24, which cost the Japanese six transport ships, but had little effect on them capturing the prized oil wells of Borneo. The governments of Australia, the Netherlands and New Zealand lobbied Winston Churchill for an Allied Intergovernmental War Council, with overall responsibility for the Allied war effort in Asia and the Pacific. Based in Washington, D.C., a Far Eastern Council was established in London on February 9, with a corresponding staff council in Washington. However, the smaller powers continued to push for a body based in the United States. In the meantime, the rapid collapse of Allied resistance to Japanese attacks in Malaya, Singapore, the Dutch East Indies, the Philippines and other countries had soon overwhelmed the Malay barrier. The fall of Singapore on 15 February dislocated the Abda Command, which was dissolved a week later. Japanese attacks along the Malay barrier December 23, 1941, February 21, 1942. 
Wavell resigned as Supreme Commander on February 25, 1942, handing control of the Abda area to local commanders. He also recommended the establishment of two Allied commands to replace Abdicom, a Southwest Pacific command, and one based in India. In anticipation of this, Wavell had handed control of Burma to the British Indian Army and reassumed his previous position, as Commander-in-Chief India. Following the destruction of the Abda strike force under Rear Admiral Karl Dorman, at the Battle of the Java Sea, in February to March 1942, Abda effectively ceased to exist. As the Japanese closed in on the remaining Allied forces in the Philippines, MacArthur was ordered to relocate to Australia. On 17th of March, the U.S. government appointed him as Supreme Allied Commander Southwest Pacific Area, a command which included Australia and New Guinea in addition to Japanese-held areas. The rest of the geographic area of the Pacific Theater of Operations remained under the Pacific Ocean Areas Command, led by Commander-in-Chief Admiral Chester Nimitz of the U.S. Navy. The Intergovernmental Pacific War Council was established in Washington on 1 April, but remained largely ineffectual due to the overwhelming predominance of U.S. forces in the Pacific Theater throughout the war. Perhaps the most notable success for ABDA forces was the guerrilla campaign in Timor, waged by Australian and Dutch infantry for almost 12 months after Japanese landings there on February 19. General Sir Archibald Wavell General Sir Archibald Wavell, British Army, Supreme Commander Land Forces, MacArthur was technically subordinate to Wavell, but in reality many of the chains of command shown here operated independently of Abdicom and or existed only on paper, Air Marshal Sir Richard Pears. Air Forces Admiral Thomas C. Hart. Naval Forces. Thanks for watching.